What's going on everybody? David here from Blueface Videos and Collectibles and today I got a brand new video for y'all and this time it's going to be another toy haul video. I had not done one of these in a while so I'm about due for one. So anyways, uh, today I was able to get out the house and uh, do a little bit of toy hunting and I was able to stop at three spots. Um, I stopped at Retro Madness out in Bedford, Texas. If you haven't been out there, if you're in the North Texas area, go ahead and check them out. Uh, it's a really good store, fair prices, you know, um, so you can wheel and deal with them if you want to. So they're 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 pretty legit, and uh, I was able to take some things in that I didn't need in my collection anymore, and was able to do some uh, trade in for store credit, and um, got a pretty nice pretty nice lump sum. And I was able to, I didn't spend all of it because I don't like to spend all of it. I like to spend a little at a time so that way I keep going back, you know, and, you know, in case you get new stuff in that I'm looking for. But anyway, so then I was able to stop at Target because I was able to uh, <clears throat> get some stuff that was on clearance, some figures. Um, for those who, who know that I, or don't know, um, I do collect the DC Primal Age by Funko Toys and, um, they're just now clearing out all of uh, Series 1, all their stuff, and so they're pretty much half off. The majority of them are half off, if not less. So I was able to do, pick up the last two figures that I needed for it and uh, the uh, ride that I needed for, to complete the uh, Series 1. So now I'm caught up on that, and now I'm just waiting to purchase uh, Series 2. And then after that, I was able to make my last stop, and I went to a movie trading company. Had a couple items that I knew that uh, um, Retro Pie wouldn't be interested in, so I was able to take take those in that movie trading, and they and they uh, gave me store credit back. It wasn't much, wasn't expecting much. It was probably they gave me back about the little. They gave me the right amount that I kind of figured that they would give me for, it. and I'm fine with that. You know, I just wanted it off my hands. <laughs> So, um, was able to pick up a, a couple items there. So, that being said, uh, enough of all this rambling. Let's go ahead and show what, uh, excuse me, sorry about that. <clears throat> Let's show what we got here. I'm going to save the retro for last, but I'm going to start off with the uh, Target haul, then the movie trading, and then we're going to finish out with the retro madness stuff. All right. So, first up we have is from the Target is Ace the Bat Hound. So I was able to get him. He was six fifty. So very happy about this. Um got him on clearance. Yes, finally. But normally this guy would be between twenty to twenty five dollars. So which is fine, you no, know, but if you if you can play the long game on these, then that's that's good. So I was able to get him and was able to get the two Batmans that I needed to round out the collection. And the reason why I waited forever for these two guys is because I knew they were going to overload or overstock these. And uh, they would be on clearance whenever they went on clearance. And now they have. So I was never in a rush to get any of these two. The others uh, that came in the line, uh, I wanted to go ahead and jump on those because they don't, they, they were, they're not, as, they weren't as common as um, these two were. So that's why I played the long game for some of these. So but anyways, um, so I'm probably going to be doing a review for Ace the Bat Hound and these two together. Uh, I already did the Joker review and and the Joker Beast together. So if you haven't checked out that video, go to my toy review playlist and uh it's there and check that video out. And uh so yeah, it's only fitting to do the Ace Ace Bat Hound and uh the two Batmans together. So anyway, so after I did that I went to Target or not to Target, but uh I left Target <laughs> and I went to Movie Trading Company and I was able to pick up um uh, Lieutenant Bashir, uh, Bashir, and so this is from the Playmates, uh, 90s Playmates, uh, Star Trek The Next Generation toy line. Love these figures, love Star Trek, and uh, this is my third loose figure, 
I was able to get him for four bucks, which is about right. Um, he is complete, as far as I can tell. It looks like he's got everything. So um, I hadn't looked yet, but I will eventually. So I mean, really, some of these characters they do overload on accessories, but some of them they don't. So um, who knows if these are the right accessories or <laughs> not? I'm just going to go on a whim and say the edge is complete. But um, very happy to have him. Um, the rest of my other stuff is on card, but they're not uh, mint on card, should I say. It's a little beat up. So eventually I'm going to open those and display them when I get a chance. So, yeah. I got him. And I got a, a, a Action Masters by Kenner. These are die, die cast metal collectibles. Um, usually I don't... I don't get into the stuff like this, but since this is a Kenner product and I love Terminator 2, um, I picked this up for about six bucks, which is about right. Um, these tend to go for about five to ten dollars, give or take, on on card, you know, and then probably about four bucks loose. So it just all depends. Um, I don't want all of these. I just only want this one. Uh, T-1000, uh, the Predator, uh, Predator, and uh, the Aliens. Um, there is, they have a little three-pack with the Queen, the Warrior Alien, and Ripley. And I want to get that and um, have them on display on my Kenner Wall of Fame. And, uh, yep, be looking on a lookout coming soon for a video near you on YouTube. Um, my Kenner Wall of Fame collection. It's going to be awesome. I don't know when soon, but hopefully sometime before the year is out. Excuse me. Sorry, I just hit my knee on the table. Uh, but anyways, <clears throat> so happy to have those two items to the collection. So now let's go into the main event, the Retro Madness Hall. So first up is a Jurassic Park uh, figure, dinosaur. Uh, this came out in 1997 for the Jurassic Park Chaos Effect toy line, which originally was based on a cartoon that was never released. So, um, there are videos on that if you're interested and wanting to know what happened with that. Um, I'm not going to take any more time than I need to when going over this. Um, this is the Armargo Spinus, and this is what Chaos Effect is, is like it's just a mixture of dinosaurs all jammed in packed to make one dinosaur species. So this is a mix of a Spinosaurus and a Amargosaurus. So picked them up for 10 bucks. Um, and so he does have an action feature. So you pull the back leg right here and his jaw opens and his spines pop out from his neck and his uh, back. So, very cool. It's my first uh, dinosaur from the uh, Chaos Effect line. I do have two humans, Ian, Malcolm, and Roland Timbo. Um, and now I've added a dinosaur to the to the mix. So, very happy about that. $10 this usually goes for about 15 or more. So, very happy to pick this up for $10. Um, then, for uh, I was able to pick up the Red Ranger. Uh, I think he is complete, and this is the original Red Ranger from the um, uh, from '93 by Bandai. I think it's by Bandai. Uh, Overkill, if you're watching, please let me know in the comments below uh, if Bandai did make this or not. I can't remember, but I got him for ten bucks. I think he is complete. Um, if he's not, I'm just happy that I got an accessory with him. So very pleased with that. I do have the original uh, Black Ranger. And um, now I just need the rest of them. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not interested in getting the entire line. I just want the, the main characters and, and the main villains. So, uh, so yeah. So. And then I was able to get uh, Toy Biz Joker. Now this was a surprise to me because um, at, I was looking through one of their um, loose figure shelves or drawers. They have plastic drawers uh, all over the store where it has like loads of accessories, loose figures, all kinds of junk. Oh, I say junk because it's, <laughs> it's our junk, you know. Um, <clears throat> good stuff. Good junk. Um, but they had, had a lot of stuff in there 
And um, and I found this, and I, it didn't have a price tag on it, and it is complete. And so I called one of the employees over there, and uh, it's like, hey, uh, this doesn't have a price tag. How, how much are you willing to sell this? He says, I'll give it to you five bucks. I said, whoa. <laughs> so, all right. So, got this guy uh, five bucks complete. Very happy about that because now I have uh, my Batman's able to have somebody fight, you know. So now I need Bob the Goon, and then uh, I do want to look for the Batwing and the Batcave. Uh, so to go with the Toy Biz collection. So very excited, very happy to have this in my collection complete at that, you know. If this was just a figure, maybe a hat, I would have been fine with that, you know, because, you know, at least I had something. Because I already have this also, so, um, and the only thing I probably would have been missing was a cane, so. Either way, just happy to have it, in general. All right, I got two uh, carded figures, and then we'll wrap this up. <clears throat> um, next up, we have the uh, Toy Biz X-Men X-Force uh, figure. And this is Genesis. Um, funny thing is, I do have the armor, the removable armor, but I just didn't have the figure or the accessory that goes with it. So I was able to find a loose figure, but I wasn't able to find uh, Spine uh, at all. And I knew that he was going to be the toughest thing to find. So I just happened to look at this... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I just... <coughs> am. I just happened to look... Uh, at the at this figure and it was five bucks so five dollars and I had a choice between getting um, a carded figure that I can open and I say open because you know I know a lot of my stuff is on card but there's some things that I don't mind opening um, I don't open everything but just there's only certain things I make an exception and but since this is uh, plastic bubble is pea colored you know I don't like that and even though the card is uh, pretty got shelf wear, you know, it's, but overall it's pretty good shape, but the blister is uh, pea colored. And I'm not about to display a pea colored uh, blistered <laughs> card figure. It's looking ugly. But anyway, so this guy will be coming out the package. Uh, we'll be doing a review on this uh, soon. So be look out for a review on this guy. So, very happy to add him to the collection. So, uh, like I said, I found him loose, but I had to have a choice. I figured, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and uh, just buy the whole thing complete, and I can open him up in that. And then, uh, maybe later, I go back and, and pick him up loose, and then, you know, just to have them complete with the armor and stuff. May not have spine to go with it, but at least it'd be good, uh, something that's good for a trade or whatever, or a giveaway, or I don't know, whatever. <laughs> so, very happy to have this guy. And then, last but not least, um, I got uh, Overt Kill and by McFarland Toys Spawn, and this is from Wave One or Series One. So I have the first Spawn, and now I got him to go with it. Uh, this package was a little beat up. I got him for five bucks too. And normally, this guy goes for about maybe ten to fifteen. And the reason why it's so, it was so cheap because uh, the thing about Retro Madness that's so good is that they go by the condition. That's how they price their stuff. You know? So I think that's it's fair. You know that's why I say it's a good store. Um, got some good stuff. You know, and, and their prices are pretty fair when it comes to a lot of the things. Um, like I said, they when it comes to packaging and stuff, they go by you know the packaging and stuff like that and how good it is and that's how they price stuff. If that makes any sense. I mean, that's just what I gathered from looking at their items. So, but anyways, so he will be coming out the package too as well. Because I do want to be able to display my, my spawn figures. Um, I do have uh, him. And I will, I do want to collect the rest of these. So I do want to have the rest of this. I do want to focus on series one and complete this series and have it displayed. You know, all the other stuff, they, well, they'll come, but I, I just want, I want Series 1, you know. So, very happy about getting this guy. So, that's going to be my haul for, for the time. And I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as you did. I, 
I hope you all enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed filming it. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this haul and what your favorite piece of this haul is. And if you have any of these figures or you're collecting any of these, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you're looking for. You know, if you're looking for Spawn, X-Man, DC Primal Age, Terminator, or just all of the above, you know, or anything in general. You know, let me know what you're hunting for. You know, I'm always curious to know what other people want to uh, look for for their collection to add. So, but anyways, um, if you're new to the channel, please give this channel a sub, like the video, comment the video, and uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can see all my uploads. And, worst of wisdom, buy what you love and not what you like, because if you buy what you like, you will always end up getting rid of it. And I will catch y'all later.